Hello everyone, uh, it's Prat from Ratko Tarot and uh, in this whole video you are about to hear the forecast in terms of love and career as well uh, for your star sign uh, for the week 7th to 13th of September 2020. As always, if you are interested in a private reading with me, uh, you can go to my website and purchase a service uh, from there. The site can be found in the description down below and as well um, as tarot is about a, a knowledge and uh, you're interested into the knowledge and you want to get it from me uh, there are eight tarot classes available at the website as well currently for the upcoming week uh, the tarot class for the major arcana is going to be on a flash sale reduced cost with a 30 percent uh, dropping it from 150 to a hundred and ten dollars so if you are interested into that message me on my facebook page and i'm going to provide you with a link regarding the flash sale that being said lay back and uh, enjoy the show all right so we do have a pisces sun moon and as well rising on our hands and let me shuffle the tarot cards guys and uh, the first thing we're going to have a look at uh, is going to be your romantic experience throughout the upcoming week. All right, so in terms of, in term of love, the first card that we're gonna have a look, that we're gonna have for you for the upcoming week, that will be the Queen of Swords, uh, followed by the Death card moving next, we do have uh, the Two of Wands and the last one that is there, that will be the Hermit. Oh, that's quite interesting. Now, give me a second. So, first of all, um, I have to break this, uh, I have to break this thing down instead of giving a one message. And that's the bad side of going impromptu is uh, and i don't i don't know why this is fair i mean the astrologers the numerologists they get to prepare before they go um they go live but when you are a tarot reader you gotta make it impromptu or otherwise you are called out well right so because we do have the death card into the second position that means that any kind of uh change in the course of events or in your environment throughout the week itself is going to be bad and that doesn't mean however that you should stick around with uh, with with your situation forever it means that just for the week itself is going to be bad so if you have definitively decided to let to to leave let's say abusive marriage or to leave abusive relationship maybe you want to wait for one more week just saying okay that is what the, the uh, death card points here that is because having the two of wands into the third position it kind of points that you can find a a better means or you can find a better way how you can tackle with your current situation in terms of love uh, either into current relationship or either as well into being single being said that uh, the two of wands uh, speaks for two things here into the third position it's being it speaks that you are right now in a position of power for one or another way and on top of it it does speaks that whatever accomplishments you have achieved into your current love life they're just scratching the surface and you can definitely step on those accomplishments and improve those accomplishments himself now speaking if you are having a relationship right now and that relationship is going on very well then that makes perfect sense that thing should not change in any way but you should keep on improving the same thing moving forward because the death it's about change through substitution one relationship with another one life with another it, it is not regard it does not regard change within the framework of the current situation okay so those two cards having it having them on these positions it kind of speaks that you have to stick around just a little bit longer if you do want to walk away with your current thing now i may be called out for that you know from some viewers saying i will not going to do that by all means do whatever you feel fit for yourself 
uh, I'm just a card interpreter and I interpret what the card says uh, for the general uh, situation in terms of law for Pisces into the upcoming week. Now that's not going to be easy though. I mean sticking around with uh, the uh, current say situation of yours because if you are single that card these cards speaks that you should remain single regardless if you do have an option to jump into a relationship or not maybe because the next week you're going to have a better option available or a better way to 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 make a commitment so the king the queen of swords into the first position here uh shows that there will be some kind of a uh a signal or rather like in an information it could be a red flag it could be confirmation it could be a green light for you to do something that you have planned but the bottom line is that throughout the course of the week you are going to become forewarned for something therefore that thing is going to make you forearmed and with that information you will be able to push your thing or, or given the subject of the reading your love life through to a point where you are at the end of the week you're gonna definitely know what you gotta do how to do it when to do it whom to do it with okay and that itself is going to pretty much if you are finding yourself at a dark place well that is gonna show you the light that shines for you out there um, in the darkness okay so uh, a pretty philosophical um, love reading for you Pisces but this is just the uh, card message so hopefully you can make um, you can make use of it and with that being said let's move to your uh, to your a career reading Right, so uh, first one in terms of career, that is going to be three, three, three of swords. Uh, moving next, we do have the five of wands, uh, followed by the seven of swords. And the last one, that is to be the knight of cups. Um, I know that it looks rather grim, but it isn't, okay? Actually, uh, it speaks for a bravery in terms of your career push throughout the week itself so how the thing plays out it is that you are going to find yourself sick of uh, kind of drawing the short straw you're going to find yourself sick of finding yourself with your back against the wall and instead of uh, being afraid you know what may happen if you pretty much uh, lay off your demands uh, what could happen you know if you speak up your mind Instead of that, you're going to simply do it. Uh, that is shown here with the Three of Swords and the Seven of Swords. It's pretty awkward. It's pretty unusual, I would say, cooperation between those two cards. But they kind of points that you are going to stop allowing the uh, negative thoughts or the, or the thoughts of a fear in regards to plant actions or plant uh, speech that you are to give to twist and tangle through your mind. And as you are no longer, as you no longer care about the consequences, for you are gonna settle uh, for either improvement or nothing. Okay, and uh, as you no longer care about the consequences, uh, it seems that you are pretty much gonna storm your situation um, and demand for whatever you have been owed. You know, you are gonna show that very strong backbone if you will stepping for your own personal rights and you're either gonna get it or you're gonna find another place where you're gonna get it from um i mean the thing you deserve that may be the salary the position etc etc why that is happening though now we do have the five of ones into the second position and that pretty much points to your awareness that that surprise or surprising events or this turnaround that you may be expecting it may come, but ain't gonna come uh, soon enough. And so, for what it seems, you're gonna have the tendency to take the, the matters in your own hands and just, you know, um, how do you say it in English? Um, 
take a bet maybe yeah i mean keep up with with that but i don't know how to say it it's just on the tip of my tongue and i don't know how to say it but it's like but it's like you're gonna bet on yourself rather than betting on a pure coincidence that uh, your improvement into career is to happen and so what happens at the end here with the knights of a cups well knights of cups in terms of career speaks for either two things it could speak that you have very um, intelligently resolved the issues and the matters that you are standing in front throughout the duration of the week itself or the better in the better in, um, manifestation of the card is that so um the better man manifestation of the card is <clears throat> that uh, you're going to start following the dreams of your heart meaning that uh you pretty much going to get whatever you uh, whatever you have bargained for whatever you have wanted whatever you have demanded uh when you have showed your backbone when you have showed your aggression when you have showed that you are going to step for your rights now the thing is however with that manifestation of the knights of cups it is then you cannot rely once again on a um on a happy coincidences or a lucky events uh, the Knights of Cups purely and only uh, rela relies on his own personal capabilities. So for that reason, if uh, you do, at the end of the day, get whatever you have wanted, you got to work very hard to sustain it. Okay, so it's not granted to you by any means. So you, you are going to be, how, how can I say it? You have to put some mighty efforts in order to I hate that word, but in order to prove that you deserve what you have gotten. So that being said, um, Pisces, that was your a weekly general tarot reading in terms of a love and career. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys, and uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.